The level was invented in the 17th century to put the right slant on things. We use it to make things plumb and true. Without it, buildings would lean, floors would be crooked, and maps would have inaccurate elevation information. So the level really has helped us straighten out our world. It's a centuries-old concept, but it still measures up. Centering the bubble in the level helps ensure you've done an even job of things. They start with a length of laminated birch wood. An automated router carves several holes in it. Three of the holes will enclose the vials with the bubbles. Two others will serve as hand grips. Once they've carved out plenty of niches, they move on to the perimeter of the wood. They cut grooves along the length of the wood to install a brass binding. But first, they unwind the binding into a forming machine. Rollers flatten it to get rid of the curl from the coiling. Other rollers then crimp the brass. The process will allow the strip to fit into those grooves on the level's wooden casing. They load pieces of the brass binding into a machine that slides them into the grooves. This gives the wood some reinforcement along the edges. Over at another station, a machine melts and molds plastic to make vials. Each one is slightly curved inside, so the bubble will have a place to sit. The vials wind their way through a vibratory feeder. It takes them to a gripper that rotates each one so the open end faces up. It's time for a fill-up with yellow mineral spirits, leaving just enough room for a bubble to form. A robotic arm plugs the vial with a plastic cap. Then this sonic welder applies high-frequency sound waves to melt the cap onto the vial. The vial is then transferred to an inspection station where a tiny camera photographs the bubble and sends the picture to a computer for verification. For this production run, the bubble should be about 1.2 centimeters wide. If it's on the mark, the computer allows the vial to move on. A printer head then hot stamps the centering marks onto the vial. But this spirit vial isn't quite ready. The next step is to bake them for 24 hours. The heat exposes flaws and the defective vials are rejected. Then they shine a bright red light onto a vial to illuminate it as it slowly spins between rollers. A camera photographs the bubble and a computer scans the image to check for shifting. Too much shifting could compromise the level's accuracy. The vials that pass the test then go into a molding system. It injects melted plastic into crevices to make a cradle for each vial. Next, a technician glues the cradled vials in the openings in the wooden framework, two to a slot. This is precision work. Each vial has to sit perfectly level. She checks her progress as it's magnified onto a monitor. Some vials are installed vertically to gauge if the walls are plumb, while the horizontal ones let you know if the floor is level. They fit little acrylic rimmed windows over the vials to protect them. They screw rubber caps onto both ends of the level and give it their trademark stamp. Now these levels are ready to fight crooked construction and keep the business straight. <laughs>